For example, let's have a look at this guy, right? What you're doing is you're adding up a series of rectangles, right? Adding up a series of rectangles. Now, we developed in series and sequences language to talk about when you're adding a bunch of things together that are in order, okay? We designed this notation here, right? Sigma, do you remember why we chose the Greek letter sigma? It's S for sum, right? You're adding up a bunch of things, okay? Now, the particular things that we're adding up here are, well, I've got one, two, three, four rectangles, okay? So for instance, I could say, look, from one to four, okay? What am I gonna add up? Well, each one is a rectangle. How do you work out the area of a rectangle? Base times height. Yeah, it's gonna be um, um, base times height, or height times width, or however you want to say it, okay? So when you look at this guy, right, this is a particular function, what's the height of each one of these rectangles going to be? For example, how do I work mm -hmm. out the height of this rectangle? I know it's trivial, but how do I actually work it out? Like, I know it's zero, that's the first one, but how do I, where did that number zero come from? The y coordinate of the Very good, it came from this y coordinate, that's where it came from, and then this one, this next one over, well, the height of this rectangle comes from the y coordinate there, and then the next one over comes from the y coordinate there, and there, and so on. Does that make sense? Okay. So what I'm adding up is the y coordinate, y, and what am I multiplying by that height? It's, um, it's each one of these widths here. Do you agree with that? Okay. So there's the whole width there, so I'm multiplying by 2, but then I divide by, I divide by 4 in this case, because each one of them is a half, a half, a half, a half, that's what gives me 2. I'm going to push on this just a little bit more, okay? Because what I want is for this y thing, well, there's actually several different y's, okay? So there's like the first y, and then the second y, and the third y, and so on, okay? So I'm going to designate this y n. of k. I've, I've used k down here. You could use n if you want, or, or any letter that you like. It's just counting. That's the important thing, okay? How about this one? What's happening here? What is different, okay? I'm still, I'm still adding up stuff, right? But the first difference that you notice? One to eight. Yeah, I'm adding up eight objects rather than adding up four of them. Are you okay with that? So I'm going to go from one to eight. Okay. Still adding up the same, like the heights, I still get them in the same way. I still look at the y coordinate. Okay. But the, um, the width of each section has changed, right? Do you see that? Mm -hmm. The width is still two divided by something, but I'm dividing by eight. more of them, right? So you can see I'm getting more sections, right? More of these rectangles, but they're getting thinner, right? First they're a half in width, and then they're a quarter in width, okay? So now, from here, from these particular examples, let's generalize, okay? So, generalizing. I want to think about this, not just if I had four sections or eight sections, and not just with this particular, like y equals x squared, okay? Here's the way I'm going to write it. I'm going to say the area, because that's the problem I am trying to solve, it's approximately equal to, okay? Now, I'm um, adding up a bunch of things, okay? And it's like, well, how many of these little slices, rectangles, do you want? Um, I don't know how many I want, so I'm just gonna call that one M. Okay, you can choose your M. Here I chose four, here I chose eight. You would choose one to a desired accuracy, like maybe 800 or 8 million, depending on how big your area was. Okay. What am I adding up? I'm going to be adding up, now here I'm going to use my function notation. Okay. Instead of just saying y, I'm going to say f of the x value that I have to put in. Okay. So I guess what would correspond to y of k would be x of k. Like that's the actual number, like uh, a quarter, a half, sorry, uh, a half, one, one and a half, two. Okay, so that's the number I've got to plug into the function, okay? So I'll call that x, okay? So, I'm adding up a whole bunch of things. This represents the height of each rectangle. What's the width? Now, um, in each of these cases, I just picked two as my arbitrary endpoint, okay? But maybe I want to end somewhere else, okay? So, the place that I would end would be the kth value of x, like the last one. Maybe it would be the eighth value of x or the fourth value of x, or the millionth value of x, okay? In other words, it's going to be x, k. But that's, not, that's, that's the whole section, right? I want the width of every individual rectangle, right? 
So how wide is each rectangle? And divide by n. Yeah, I have to divide by however many number of rectangles I've chosen to divide by. And that's, that's n. Like, that's whatever number I like. Okay? So, let's just pause for a second. Okay? What, what does this thing mean? Because this is, you know, this is death by notation here. Okay? What we are do, doing is we are summing a series of areas, right? We are summing, uh, sorry, that's a height, a height times a width. Okay? In other words, what we are summing is a bunch of rectangles. That's what uh, height times width represents. Okay? Now, here's where Riemann and his, um, his, his pursuit to not just say approximately equal to, I can do better than that, right? If I could take um, this kind of thing, right? Four rectangles, eight rectangles. I said numbers like 800 or a million. They're all still going to be approximate. They'll be very close, but they'll be approximate. With normal tools, that's where I have to stop. But we have mathematical tools at our disposal. Right? We don't have to stop at eight or 800 or a million. We can go to infinity if we want, right? Instead of this kind of scenario, we're going to have a scenario like this. <coughs> then how do you deal right. with the denominator? Yes, so glad you asked. We're going to get to that, okay? 